Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, your overlord and Bird here, the GM of Parcels and Parsecs. Yes. And I wanted to take this moment to introduce you guys to the way interaction is going to work on the show because it's slightly different than some of the other things we've done before and it's a totally new thing that yeah, uh, myself and Pillow Zach have been working on and we're really really excited about it. So first off, let's explain the basic concept here. Sure. It's light mm -hmm. versus dark. You're dark mm -hmm. as the GM and the players are light. So when you give tips and or bits with the hashtag dark, check this out. So this, let's just imagine a bunch of bits came in with hashtag dark. What? What? What's that? Oh the slider my. starts moving towards the dark side, okay? Now when the game starts, this timer starts right here, okay? Now every hour, that's going to count down. And depending on where the audience has placed this target, whether it's gone towards the light side or the dark side, whatever it lands on at, when it gets to zero, if it's in tier one, tier two, or tier three, you have different things that will happen. Yep. Different buffs for the characters, different world yep. events, things like that. Yep. Uh, the further it is off to one side, the more it's going to be like, Boo! What yeah. the fuck? So it's a constant battle between the forces of light and the dark. Yes. It's a constant, it's so constant good. battle. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely great. So you got you to gotta move it where mm -hmm. you want to go. Now, mm -hmm. you can do that just by giving bits or tips with hashtag light or dark. Or you can do it with dice. So you could use hashtag setback, hashtag deficiency, hashtag challenge for things that go to the dark side. Those are dice that are given to you as the GM. Oh, yes. Or you could purchase hashtag boost, hashtag ability, or hashtag proficiency. Those are dice that go to the players and they're put in a pool. So the players will have a pool of these dice as they're being purchased by you all in the chat room. And they have to decide as a team when they want to use them. Now, we're just gonna go down the line here. Why don't you tell me what's, what's a boost die? Sure, a boost is very simple. Boost, uh, it's just got uh, some simplistic things on it. So there's success hits, which is basically adds to the chance that they're gonna succeed at their challenge or check. Um, there's advantage, which is basically a, another boost option that they can use. So in theory, you could fail. A so task. if it's like a simple kind of thing, and they're like, "Shit, we need to make sure this succeeds. Yeah. Let's throw a three extra bit, boost die a little in bit there of to, extra. Yeah. to make to help with that." At the same point, it's got some some blank things on it. So you could, could uh, fail. they could sit there and communicate. Oh, we should use a couple boosts, and they could run yeah. up, and there's nothing on it. So. Next dice that we have is the ability All right, dice. So that's the ability die. That's the $25 tier so to help the players. So it's much, much better than the mm -hmm. boost. It's got a lot more success on it, a lot more advantage, and only, I think, one uh, blank dice. So this is really, if you really want to kind of give that extra oomph to a challenge, like, oh man, I really need to kill this guy. Uh, we'll all use one of these. This is this is primo stuff. Okay, but the proficiency die is at the fifty dollars tier, so it must be super special. Proficiency dice, dear lord. Uh, so this thing, if you look at it, it's a monster, and same thing. It has one blank, so they can they can uh, appear and nothing can happen. But there's a is, lot of success. A lot and of what's success. That, what's that like oh, Nova man. symbol on it? So there? this is the equivalent in uh, Edge of the Empire of rolling a critical hit. Ah. So if you want someone to be able to roll a nat twenty. They're gonna need to use a proficiency dice. These are like gonna be if they're going against like a big dude, maybe a boss that they've encountered multiple times. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be the thing that pushes them over, pun intended, the edge, the edge of edge of the empire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the light side the dice. Players. Those are the ways you can help the players. Now to help Bert, yes. which we all know is what you really want to do, you would give dice for the dark side, which is setback deficiency and challenge and i'm guessing this works in the exact same way where Correct. setback is just a basic boost yep deficiency is a little bit stronger yep and challenge is like mm. holy hell and you could like you could critical against them yeah this with is some fucked up shit the equivalent of me rolling a critical hit or nice them rolling a critical miss so i want those so bad now the other thing we're working on with the system and this is now thursday night and we have to have this ready by tomorrow and yep. i'm flying out in five hours uh to seattle so i'm gonna be working on this <coughs> in a while tonight Bless it's gonna you. be real cool it's gonna yeah. be great yeah. uh the other thing that this system's going to be doing is as things are shifting as people are fighting in the chat room to make things go either from the light or to the dark the lights in the studio are going to be shifting 
to change with it. So we have six different scenes built up with this our lighting so cool. set, which is like level one dark, level two dark, level three dark, level one light, level two light, level three light, yep. and then neutral. Neutral is where the studio is right now, yep. what it is on a normal day. Now, as it's shifting between those, the lights are going to start shifting around. So the players are going to be able to feel yep. as they're playing, like, oh, shit, the chat room is getting kind of dark. Yep. You know, like, they're going to feel the lights starting to turn red. And if it goes all the way to the dark side, every light in there just fucking tanks red. Yep. Now, that's every hour, though. At the end of that hour, mm -hmm. when it hits zero, yep. you're going to be able to see on your GM screen where things are. Hour is up. Boom. Yep. Something's going to happen. And then it resets. And we start a new hour with a new center mark. Correct. It starts over in the middle. Yep. That way, it doesn't get thrown one way all the other side. Now, what makes it really interesting is the show is usually going to be over two hours long. Yep. Hour one, something big happens. Hour two, something big happens. Now, that third time that you started, they don't know when it's going to end. It could end 10 minutes in. It could end 45 minutes in. It could end at the end of the hour. We don't know. So that last hour becomes extremely important yes. for that fight. You can't just wait. You can't just like, oh my god, my phone's ringing in the middle of a thing. Recording a video. That was Emily. I'm going to... Emily calling me in the middle of recording a video. We're keeping it in there because we can't... We don't have time. <laughs> we don't... <laughs> time to cut this we can't cut this video it has to go up tomorrow <laughs> this is a one and done mm -hmm. this is a one and done yep you're literally community going manager, to get on a plane <laughs> community manager call me at midnight <laughs> come on uh okay well uh, basically um uh, what i'm saying is that last one you don't know when it's gonna end yep. it could go for 10 minutes or an hour so you got to start that fight not the last hour right off the bat yep. the next show starts with that buff mm -hmm. so the beginning of the next episode if it ends all the way in the dark they're doomed for the next week. They're just yep. gonna be thinking about how fuck we gotta come. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> we gotta start the next show. Yeah. Yep. And we're in shit. Yep. It's gonna be so. It's good. gonna be great, guys. So we really hope you like this new system. Yeah. It's something totally new, totally unique that uh, we've been working to build to make the game more exciting and more engaging yep. and interactive. And I'm really excited and can't wait for you guys to test it out. So thank you. This is how it works.